by Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis and General Joseph Votel, Commander of U.S. Secretary, <clears throat> As Secretary Mattis stated, the United States Central Command was directed to develop... ...say where his chemical weapons are at this point. Barbara. Once the order was received, we targeted 59 locations on the airfield and struck... You mentioned that defeating ISIS in Syria is your main priority. Uh, but in light of the... Bashar al Assad from, from power. Uh, and if I may ask General... Syria. Are you prepared if there, are you calling for Assad to believe that Russia had advanced knowledge of this shot in any way? And what are your thoughts on, on finding a way toward an endpoint for both the ISIS war? Absence meant for U.S. pilots and coalition pilots. Are they in a more defensive posture? This is light group. Uh, the short answer is no, we have not. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. We isolate this particular area as we move forward. Um, obviously, the there is no doubt the Syrian regime is responsible for the decision to attack and for the attack itself. In response to the attack, our government began a deliberate process led by the National Security Council to recommend diplomatic and military options to the President. The National Security Council considered the near century-old international prohibition against the use of chemical weapons, the Syrian regime's repeated violations of that international law, and the inexplicably ruthless murders the regime had committed. This military action demonstrates the United States will not passively stand by while Assad blithely ignores international law and employs chemical weapons he had declared destroyed. We determined that a measured military response could best deter the regime from doing this again. ISIS represents a clear and present danger, an immediate threat to Europe and ultimately a threat to the United States homeland.